For the past few years, robot vacuums have more or less been of a similar size. Most are circular and about 35 centimeters or 14 inches in diameter. This means no matter how good they might clean, there will always be areas of your home they simply cannot reach. And this is a problem SwitchBot have tried to solve with the K10 Plus Mini Robot Vacuum. The K10 Plus comes in at just under 25 centimeters or 10 inches in diameter. This means it can get into tighter places that other robot vacuums can't. With reducing the size, it does mean trade-offs have to be made, so stick around to see if the K10 Plus is any good and maybe even the most suitable robot vacuum for your home. Full disclosure, SwitchBot did send me this K10 Plus, but they have had no input into this video. Inside the box, there is the K10 Plus vacuum itself, the accompanying auto empty station, a spare dust bag, spare filter, spare side brush, some printed literature, and a packet of mopping wipes. More on that later. I like that SwitchBot have included a spare dust bag, filter and brush as these are consumable parts and it means you won't have to buy replacements for quite some time. The vacuum itself is very similar to most typical RoboVacs. It has a LiDAR turret on the top that it uses for creating a map of your home and for navigation, along with a couple of buttons, one for power and one to send the RoboVac back to the dock. The top is held in place magnetically and removing it gives access to a power switch and also the dustbin. The dustbin easily lifts out of place with the handle. Flipping to the underside and you can see the K10 Plus has a combo main brush designed for both hard floors and carpets. There are some sensors for carpet detection and cliff edge detection too, along with a side brush for sweeping debris into the path of the main brush. The K10 Plus sits reverse on the auto empty station to charge and also empty itself. The auto empty station itself is also reduced in size compared to typical Robovac stations. You can see side by side how much smaller it is compared to the Roborock Ultra Dock. The disposable dust bag easily lifts out when due to be replaced and under the lid of the station is the plate for mopping and a maintenance tool. Initial setup for the K10 Plus was pretty well straightforward. I downloaded the SwitchBot app, created an account and followed the on-screen prompts to add it to my home network. The K10 Plus features a quick mapping mode whereby the vacuum will head out and explore your home without vacuuming in order to quickly generate a map of your space. This then allows you to customize the map to suit how you want to clean. You can edit the map to split the rooms, name the rooms, add in virtual walls, no-go zones and no mop zones. You can choose to clean your whole home, just specific rooms or even just specific areas. You can also choose one or two passes over the area for a deeper clean. There are four suction strengths and it automatically increases suction strength when it detects it is cleaning carpet. You can set cleaning schedules and adjust do not disturb times so it won't wake you in the middle of the night and also choose how often the vacuum returns to the station to empty its onboard bin while cleaning your floors. SwitchBot says it can store up to 10 different maps. For me, I've mapped both my upstairs and downstairs spaces and can swap between them easily. I simply carry the K10 Plus upstairs, change the map in the app and start cleaning. You don't need a charging station on every level, it will simply return to the starting point after cleaning for you to then take back to the station yourself. Overall, the app is full featured with nothing of note missing. It's been very stable, I've had no crashes, and it allows you to integrate other SwitchBot devices seamlessly. SwitchBot also kindly sent me their new Hub 2, a remote and a bot to test out, and I'll show you those in a future video. Now onto its cleaning performance, because if a vacuum doesn't suck, then it sucks, and if a vacuum sucks, then it doesn't suck. I tested its suction performance with a selection of varying particle sizes being sugar, rice, and oats on both hard floors and carpet, and I had the suction strength set to maximum. On hard floors, it did a great job, even though I probably overwhelmed it with just how much I placed on the floor. Edge cleaning with a side brush is great, but at times it did flick some stuff around a little bit too much. A second pass is helpful in getting those last few bits of debris. On carpet, it did well with the rice and oats, but the sugar was a bit more challenging, needing that second pass to do an acceptable job of that. Edge cleaning wasn't as good here, but my carpet rolls over a bit where it meets the wall, and so far, no robot vacuum has been able to get debris from that edge. As mentioned in my intro, the K10 Plus is small, and that allows it to get into places other robot vacuums can't. I've never had a robot vacuum that can fit between the legs of these stools, down the side of my fridge, or in this gap in the bathroom, and that's a major benefit for the K10 Plus. As far as actually navigating around my home, the K10 Plus has had no issues. I have a pretty easy home to clean for a robot vacuum though, with no kids toys or pet toys, and most of the cables are off the ground. If you do have obstacles laying around, well, 
This test for obstacle avoidance shows you how well that goes. Basically anything lower than the height of the LiDAR turret is ignored. The shoes in this case were just tall enough for the LiDAR to recognise, although the Robovac was still happy to bump into them. There is an option in the app to reduce collisions, but I haven't found that makes much of a difference. At times it does seem a bit aggressive with bumping into furniture. Once it's finished vacuuming, it makes its way back to the auto empty station to have its onboard bin cleaned and be recharged. The auto empty station does a great job at this, clearing pretty much everything from the onboard bin every time. Now you might want to mop your floors, so take the mop plate out of the auto empty station, fit the disposable wipe to the mop plate and the plate to the robot. It then makes its way around your home dragging the wipe across the floor. And that's it. No vibration or scrubbing or wetting the mop as it goes. I could only get half of my downstairs hard floors wiped before the wipe dried out. It's not completely useless though, it does wipe up some very fine dust that the vacuum can't suck up. So if you have a smaller space to keep clean it could be handy for you. Despite its size, battery life has been pretty decent on hard floors. It can clean my downstairs area of about 55 square meters and still have around 50% battery remaining. On carpet, because the suction power is increased you do see the battery life take a little bit more of a hit, but it can still comfortably clean my upstairs area consisting of three carpeted bedrooms, a carpeted living room and a bathroom with battery life to spare. If the battery does run low during cleaning it will return back to charge and continue cleaning where it left off once topped up, and recharging is surprisingly quick too. So does size really matter? Well yes actually, and bigger isn't always better. In the case of the SwitchBot K10 Plus, the smaller size means it can clean areas that a bigger robot vacuum simply can't get into. The base station takes up less overall space too. Vacuuming performance is certainly adequate, especially on hard floors, and if you send it out daily it will do a good job at keeping your carpets clean as well. Mopping, or rather dragging a wet wipe on the floor, is what it is. Don't expect much from that. I guess a downside of the small size is there isn't enough room to fit a water tank on board to aid in mopping. The SwitchBot app has been great to use, it's intuitive, stable and offers all the features I've wanted. The K10 Plus offers most of the features of a larger robot vacuum in a more compact design. It does still have the same flaws as every other robot vacuum in that the suction power doesn't near compare to a handheld or mains powered vacuum and it can't clean the rolled edges of my carpet. Robot vacuums continue to be a fantastic daily floor maintenance solution in between those deeper manual cleans. For the meantime, I'm keeping the K10 Plus upstairs to keep my three carpeted bedrooms and living room tidy. It's the only Robovac that's been able to get in between the legs of my bedside tables and also cover the complete area of my bathroom. The bigger ones just don't fit these spaces. The K10 Plus is a great solution for those looking for a solid robot vacuum that doesn't take up a lot of space and can clean tight areas. It's perfect in something like a small home or two or three bedroom apartment, or perhaps if you already have a robot vacuum on one level and looking for something to complement that on another level of your home like I'm doing. The main downsides to be aware of is the poor mopping ability and the lack of obstacle avoidance, but both of these features generally come at a size and price premium. If you think the SwitchBot K10 Plus suits your home, there are links below on where to buy and as always, thanks for watching.